what I do is whatever we learn here in the class, I record everything and it goes in the YouTube channel. What is the use of it? You guys can watch those videos later on to revise. If you, you don't remember everything, you will go through the video again, try recollecting what you learned and then you will be able to do more. And it attracts some people to learn. I'm sorry? And it attracts some people to learn. Yeah, so that, that's the thing, right? So you, when you have something ready made, somewhere which you can refer to again and again, you will be able to learn. Okay? So for all the kids who are here for the first time, you guys need to know what do we do in this class. This class is full of fun. Kind of fun. Kind of fun. Okay. Kind of boring. Kind of boring also. But the only purpose is we are trying to learn maths in a way that math becomes ours. Meaning once we learn, we don't forget. Okay. Be loud. When you are saying something, when you are loud, what happens is you get the confidence that yes, whatever I am saying, I know it. Right? If I ask you a formula for, you know, let's say, what is the surface area of a cuboid? Um, you would not remember that. And then you will say something just to hide. L times W, W okay. times L. No, so I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting there. I don't want to confuse everybody. Myra, leave that. Now, here in this class, next one hour is mine. So you'll only pay full attention to me. I'm your superstar for next one hour. You're watching my movie. Jokes apart. So what I'm saying is one hour full concentration. Okay, listen to me. If you have any doubt, ask me. Ask me with confidence. Don't don't have to hide anything or and be shy about it. It's okay to ask. It's okay to make mistakes. A lot of speech, right? So far. Okay. So what are the things that we do in the class? First thing first, we make sure that we as a group, we memorize tables till twenty. No, I mean that is our goal. Okay. We'll get to get to a stage where we we'll memorize tables till twenty like this. Somebody says nineteen five, or you'll say ninety five. That speed, okay? So we'll get to that. That is first thing. Second thing is, then we learn the concepts based on which grade we are in. So be it third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. These are similar grades. So what I have done is, I have called level one which is 3rd, 4th and 5th grade, level 2 is 6th, 7th and 8th grade and level 3 is 9th, 10th and SAT, okay? Now, what about level 6th college? Oh yeah, college, We will not talk about college right now. Would Vibu be in level 1 because you didn't say second? Okay, so we will focus on learning, okay? So try to make sure that we don't get distracted and we don't play in the class. So if, if I will say something, let, let me check with the new students first because I have been bothering them with the tables in the past. Let's see. I mean, again, nothing wrong. If you don't remember, it's okay. We'll practice. 8, 6, 0. Uh, not, not, not three of you, okay? I'm checking with the new students, okay? So that I would know how much effort I have to put. 8, 6, 0. Uh, 48. 48. 9, 4, 0. Uh, 36. 36. Okay, six eight zero. Forty eight. Okay, no wait, wait, wait. My job is to make everybody learn. Okay, okay, seven six zero. Let's see Ishan. Oh wait, wait. Let 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 Ishan also try. Okay, six eight zero. Forty eight. Forty eight. Okay. So see, everybody knows it. Okay. Good thing is everybody, all of us know it. But if you play with it, that is when it gets fun. Okay. Now, advantage that Adrik and Arav have, they are siblings. Kavyan and Krushika has, they are siblings. Ishan is alone, that's okay. But Maya is also alone here, that's, that's also fine. She's got a sister in there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay. Wait, so let the teacher speak. We are not here for any gossip or any, any, any you know, uh, debate. Okay, alright. So, we will only talk. We will debate when there is something to be clarified. Okay. Now coming back to the point. Right now, Arav, Advik, and Myra. I've been bothering them to memorize tables till 13 or 14, in fact. I I see that they have. I have seen that they have not memorized it yet. 
they still have to do so now the three kids the new kids will wait let's see if the the, the old kids remember the things 13 five jar 65 65 49 jar no so i will palm fingers okay let's see okay 49 jar okay 13 six jar 78 12 nine jar 108. Be loud and clear. It's okay to make mistakes. Okay? That's fine. Okay? 12 nines are. 108. Okay? Okay? 13 fours are. 52. 52. Okay? It's okay. I, no, no, no complaining. Focus on maths. Okay? 12 fives are. 60. 60. Say it loud. Because when you are loud, that shows that you have the confidence. Okay. okay? I want everybody in this class to be loud like me. My teacher told me to yell in the class though. Don't yell. Being loud and being clear, being audible is very important. Okay? okay? Because it's important for me to know what you know and what you don't. If I know what you don't, I'll be able to teach. If I don't know what you don't, I will not know what I'm going to do. Okay? Alright. So, everybody be loud. You don't have to be disrespectful. You don't have to yell at me. You don't have to come beating me. But, but be loud. Be clear. Okay? Now, so, for the new kids. Okay? Let's start. For new and old, all the kids. New and old, nothing new or old. Meaning, kids who have joined for the first time versus kids who have been there before. Okay? So, now everybody. Okay? We'll start with table of eight. And go till 12. We'll just sing it like a song. Okay? So, I will ask one person to come. Or come over. And you'll only say tables, okay? No, nothing else. Come here. So, eight, one, eight. He will sing the song. All of us will follow, including me, okay? Yes, you will. Eight. Here, here. Be, be visible. Okay. Eight one ja eight. Be it loud, be it loud. Sixteen. Eight three ja twenty four. Eight four ja thirty two. Eight five ja forty. Eight six ja forty eight. Eight seven ja fifty six. Eight nine ja sixty four. Eight nine ja. I'm sorry. Eight nine ja song. This is the song. Eight nine ja seventy two. This is the song. Eight ten ja eighty. Okay. So you will just follow us, okay? Like I'm following Arya, okay? So we will do nine. Okay? I'm not professional here. Okay, let's go ahead. 9 1 9. 9 2 is 18. 9 3 is 27. And there has to be a pause. 9 3 is 27. 9 4 is 36. Can you go slow so you can catch it? Yeah, everybody. That's what I'm saying. I'm asking him to put some pause. It's just the table. No, no, no. Wait. It's follow the instructions. Okay? That's very important. 9 1 is 9. 9 2 is 18. 9 3 is 27. And there has to be a pause. There has to be a pause, okay? A second of pause, so that everybody can follow. Again, start from 9. 9 1 is 9. 9 2 is 18. 9 2 is 27. 9 4 is 36. 5 is 45. 9 6 is 54. There is no pause. You have to induce that pause. 9 7 is 63. 9 8 is 72. 9 8 is 90. 9 10 is 90. Okay, Ara takes a break. Yes. Now, uh, you come here. Yeah, we have 10 and 11 will skip. You will start with 12. Okay. So, just 2 minutes we take for this thing, okay? 12 1 there? 12. 12 2 there? 24. 12 3 there? 36. 12 4 there? 48. 12 5 there? 60. Pause. 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 Just look at me. If I say this, meaning go little slow, okay? 12 5 is a 60. 12, 6, 72, 12, 7, 84, 12, 8, 96, 12, 9, 108, 12, 10, 120. Okay? Alright. Thank you, Arab. Adrik. Alright. So, we just did no? a recap of table. What I would request everybody is at home. Find out that 5 minutes. Do one thing in your notebook. Write the table from 2 to whatever you remember. Let's say 12 till 12. Okay, so for everybody I'm saying, write it till 12. If you are writing it till 12, be sure that 
You memorize it like an infant. You know everything about it. Okay? You are not going wrong. So write it down for once. And then every day, take the table. Look at, okay, I'll make sure that there's nothing going wrong with table of eight. Table of nine. I'm sorry? Don't, don't do it now. Don't do it now. I would want you to get to do it at home so that we can make best use of the one hour that we have. Okay? Okay, here, here, everybody here, everybody. I did 8 to, I did 8 to 11. So, so whatever you have not done, you'll do it later. Okay, so what I was saying was, every day spend 5 minutes, okay? 5 minutes. Maybe Kritika and Kavyan, they'll say, okay, today we'll fight on table for 5 minutes. They say, okay, you tell me, what is 8, 7, 7? 56. So, they will, they will do that, okay? This is like a very healthy fight that you can do at home. Same thing for Ishan, he'll say, okay, I'll catch hold of a mom. Or dad, say, okay, fine, today I'll tell you the table of nine. Eight, one, eight, eight, two, six, eight, three, six, and, and you have to enjoy math, okay? That is, that is how you have to bring the child out, okay, and then enjoy math. Ishan, you okay? Yeah. You're not liking this time? You're okay? No, he actually is finding his teacher to be too kiddish. Isn't that true? Kind of. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. If, if the teacher makes it light for you, okay? So that the fear of math and the fear of teacher both is gone at the same time. I stopped being kiddish when I was six. Mm -hmm. All right? So, so this is the table side of things, okay? Let's learn something about maths. So today we are going to learn. This is again the first class for all of you, at least three of you. They have been in the class, they have learned some basic shapes of geometry, they have learned about percentage interest calculation, they have learned about taxes, they have also learned about factorization, they have learned about Quantum exponents. Physics. Yeah. Quantum physics. Okay. So so they have learned about those things and everything is there on the YouTube that you guys can look later. But there's nothing that you have, you have lost so far. What I mean by that is from January, this is this is going to be today and tomorrow is going to be test. Wait. Today and tomorrow is going to be your demo class just to get acquainted with this style of learning. Okay, from January, all of you except Krutika will be in a different group. You all will be in group one, level one, three to five. Krutika will be in level two because he is in sixth grade. But, but. But my plan is, I will have Kritika in this class for next month or so. Make sure that everything that she has learned with respect to level 1, she does a revision of that. And then I'll move her to level 2. Okay? And no jumping here. It's all about doing maths, enjoying it. Literally, this question of 8th grade. I, I will, I'm, I'm going to be happy putting you in level 3 also, but I will decide when. I mean, okay. I'm so, ready. okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's focus on. So, so now, what that means is, from January, this whole group will be in level one. And level one will make sure that all the concepts. Wait, give me two minutes. All the concepts that that we learn or that we are supposed to learn from third till fifth grade, you learn it in the next five months. You learn it, practice it, become a champion. Okay. So let's say Ishan. If Ishan is in 4th grade, by the time he goes to 5th grade, he would be knowing all the concepts. So he will be ahead of his class. That's my plan. Okay? And whatever we learn, we will try to make it as simple as possible. It's okay to ask questions, but don't just focus too much on asking questions. If I am teaching something, let me complete that and then I will give you guys, everybody a chance to ask. Now I don't have a question. Yes. Is Who? Okay, that, that's not a math related question, we can make it offline. Okay, no, so we will talk about that probably. Alright, so today we are going to learn a different thing okay, that most of you would have not seen before. Let me write something on the board and tell me, and let me figure out who knows what. Algebra. No, no guessing. Order of operations. Algebra. 
No. So calm down. Shh, everybody. One hour. Very serious. Now, if you see something like this, what comes to your mind? What is this exactly? Okay. Five minus three. What? No, I'm not worried about answer. I hardly worried about answer ever. I'm worried about the concept. I want you guys to learn concept. Okay. It's basically like on the order of operation, but it's not like you can use pandas. It's multiple. Not everything is pandas. Okay, let's come here. When you look at just this, if I write this, what what exactly comes to your mind? What do you see here on the board? Don't overwhelm yourself with a lot of things, okay? Okay, addition, you are trying to add something with something. Okay. There are variables. It's like two variables. There are two variables. Okay. X and Y comes in. And then there are some, some constants also, right? These are called constants. Mm -hmm. Right? Right? So. I am something that came from X axis and Y axis. Okay, I am saying math is a very simple subject. Very, very simple subject. Algebra 5 is so hard. When we go there, we will talk about it. Okay. okay. So. Math is a very simple subject, meaning when you look at math, always think that it is something simple. Let me look at it with a very, you know, very easy approach. Don't make it complicated because if you make it complicated, math will become complicated. If I talk about this equation, okay, if I have written something like this, there is an equal to sign. That is why it is called an equation. You have an equal to sign. Okay. Now. What else I can read from this? Okay, there is a variable, x. What is a variable? Variable is something that is not known, that can vary, that can change. Okay? And constant is something that is fixed. So 2 will always remain 2. 2 will never become 2.5. x can vary. Because I don't know what is x. So that's when, when you, there is something that you don't know about, you say x. Okay, let, let me give an example. My age. Let's say my age. I, I'm not disclosing you guys what is my age. I'm, I'm just 16. Uh, okay. So, so jokes apart. So, I'm, I'm not disclosing my age. I'm giving you a very, you know, cryptic answer. I'm saying, what is, what is your age? Somebody asked me. I said, okay, my age is four times my younger daughter's age plus three or plus five. Okay. So, so wait. I'm saying... My age, I am not telling you what is my age. This is 4 times age of my daughter, younger daughter. I did not say what is my daughter's age either. Plus 3. It's impossible. Hmm? It's not impossible. So, you guys are going in the wrong direction. Don't argue for the sake of arguing. Try getting the message. I am saying my age is 4 times my daughter's age plus 3 or <coughs> I might say this plus 7 maybe ok now you don't know what is my daughter's age so there is no way you can get my age so far yeah, yeah. You're 40. answer is not important answer is the uh, see if you look at I am a very what do you call it, crazy teacher ok you will see the teachers always say, oh, what is the answer, tell me the answer. I am the only teacher who is not bothered about that yeah, answer. I am never bothered about the answer. I am more bothered about the approach, what you think. So we don't, so we don't have to even do the question. So, okay, so question. When I give you guys a question, I would not worry about the answer. I am not in a hurry to get the answer. I am more interested in knowing how you are approaching that problem. That is what makes your math interesting. Now, okay, coming back to the same question. What is my age? Somebody asked, Mr. Kruska asked me, Uncle, what is the age? I said, mm, okay, let me give you a riddle. I said, okay, my age is four times my younger daughter's age plus seven. Now, Kruska doesn't know what is my younger daughter's age. She will start making some guesses. Or oh, she looks to okay. She said she's in fifth grade, so she might be the ten or eleven. Now Krishka has some clue. 
Okay, so if let's say if she is 10, then what is uh, Ankas is 47. Okay, if she is 11, then it is 44, 51. If, if 11, 11 times 4 is 44 plus 51. Yeah, so now Priska has two answers actually. My age could be this or could be this. Yeah, she is still making guesses because she has guessed. Mm -mm, don't do that. This is something that we worship. So don't don't touch with this your feet. Yep. Yeah? Alright. So see she's guessing still. She say okay, probably I'm forty seven or maybe I'm fifty one. You look forty seven because you should fifty one and not more So that is that is a subjective answer. Math doesn't give you any scope for assumptions. You calculate. Ishan has something in the mind. <laughs> Nothing. He he's still thinking. This guy doesn't look like forty-seven. Maybe he's fifty, or maybe he's forty. He's still guessing, right? So so here now, Chris, what Krishna and Sam will do is they will say, okay, fine. If somebody tells me Maya's age, this is very simple. If I just know what is Maya's age, so if somebody says, okay, wait, wait, we are not here for debate. Okay, we are here for solving math. So, focus on this. So, now, what is my age is a function of knowing my daughter's age? Because I gave this formula, this clue, right? So, now everybody is focusing on getting my daughter's age because my age is function of my daughter's age. So, it's like, so it's like the input is your daughter's age and then, and then like, if we know that, the output is, you know, your age. No, no, so see, this is just an example. I said, this is a mathematical example. I gave a riddle to a Kruzika saying that if she, if she, she wants to know my age, I tell, told her, that, okay, my age is four times my younger daughter's age plus seven. four times my younger daughter's age plus seven. So basically. So see, okay, no discussion here. Focus on math. Now, what is. If this is to be determined, you have to determine this. That is the idea. Oh, so it's like the input, the daughter. Yes. If you know the daughter, the output is you know. The yeah. Output. So if you have to solve something like this, you know that if I know this, I will be able to find it. Or input or output. Right. So yeah. this, in mathematical terms, this is called an equation. Or a linear equation for that matter. What? Linear equation. It's on the line, right? Oh. It's a linear equation. Now, what is the property of a linear equation? Linear equation talks about something where you have some variables. It plus you have some variables like x or y, whose value is not known, and you have some constants which will not change ever. 7 will always remain 7, no matter how old you guys grow. Yeah? So you have variables, you have constants, you have operations, operators, right? This is equal to sign, this is plus minus, right? So this, this helps you do calculation, right? So, simple theory that you have learned today is an equation, a, a linear equation is something where you deal, we deal with Number of certain number of variables, we deal with constants and some operations among them. Okay. Now, this is just one one thing you have learned so far. Now, now let's play with math. This is when I will entertain discussions. Okay. I will. I've been stopping you guys. Now, let's let's play some uh, puzzle. Okay. Algebra five. Don't go that too far. No. It, in the class. One thing everybody will remember, it, it's only the teacher who will give feedback. N nobody will point finger at each other. If you want to share something, I will tell you how to share. Because more the kids, more the distraction, more the talking, more the debate and more feedback. Free feedback is very bad, okay? Because everybody is here to learn something. If you keep looking at others, oh, you made this mistake. That means you are hiding your mistake. Don't do that, okay? All right. So, so, what I'm saying is, if somebody has to calm down, that is going to be me who will say so. You will not do it, okay? 
done after that. Good. Okay? Alright. So, now, coming back to the agenda. We will talk about some equation, some relationship in the form of an equation. Let's say, let's say this. One pound of mango comes for, let's say, ten dollars. Okay? What is the price of ten pound of mango? Okay, let, let, let I want to see Ishan. Come over. So how will you find that out? Um, so I did ten times ten, uh -huh. and you can't uh, like you can't multiply zero by zero. So uh, it's like two zeros, mm -hmm. and then one times one is just one. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Here, so what I was trying to tell you guys is what actually Ishan did, but in a little different way. Okay? I was trying to take you guys back to what, what we started with today. So, let's say, what I said, one pound of mango is ten dollars. Right? What is the value of ten pound of mango? So ten, so one pound is ten, Two pound will be two into two into ten. Ten pound will be ten into ten. My dad is probably like that. So he will say, "Better than one will be equal to." So if one will be equal to ten dollars, so ten will be equal to like so so multiply like across the ten times. Yeah, yeah. That's that's so. I'm just simplifying this for you guys. Okay. One will be ten dollars. Two will be two. Two into ten, ten will be ten into ten, hundred will be. A thousand. Hundred into ten, thousand will be. Ten thousand. It will be thousand into ten. So Those see, so did you guys notice what did I do? Mm -hmm. Every time I was writing this, hundred will be equal to hundred into ten. Adik was saying thousand. I said thousand will be equal to thousand into ten. Adik was saying ten thousand. I still kept on saying thousand into ten because I'm focusing on how I will get the answer. Okay? So I know ten thousand is the right answer. Your your brain is working in the right direction. But I'm actually stopping you guys. I'm saying focus on the approach. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Let me complete something. Okay? So here. What is happening? If I have 2 pounds, I am saying 2 into 10. If I have 10 pounds, I am saying 10 into 10. Because 1 pound price is this. If I have 100 pounds, I am saying 100 into 10. If I have 1000 pounds, I am saying 1000 into 10. If I have X pounds, I will say X into 10. Yeah. This is my equation. Okay? Oh, so, if you don't know that, um, I will put zero into Okay, so now, this x into 10 just there for this thing now let's say anything that i don't know i will assume it to be x that is a variable that can change ishan finds x to be 10 adrik finds x to be 22 ara will find x to be 25 up to them how they are solving it and if i thought um google that the equation of variables can be Right, variable is variable, okay? So that can change. So let's come back to what we are trying to learn here, okay? Everybody is here. So anything that we don't know, I, I can assume it to be X, I can assume it to be Y, I can assume it to be A, A, B, whatever, right? Just don't assume anything that is not known to be 3. This is not, not, not unknown, this is known, okay? No. It's not big or small. I'm saying anything that is not known. You cannot say, okay, something that is not known is 2. No, that is That's not a right constant. statement. That's a constant that is known. 2 is known to be 2. If I say my name is Biren, I'm not, unknown. I'm, I'm not known. My name is Biren. Everybody knows me as Biren. How come I'm unknown? If I don't have a name, that is when I'm unknown. If my properties are not known, I'm, not, I'm unknown. Right? So, so anything that you don't know, you can assume it to be X. Or let's say X. Now, somebody says, find out the price of 
of 100 kgs of rice. Only 5 minutes? Or no, 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 no. I'll be very strict here. When I'm saying the concept, hear me out first. Okay? Hear me out first. Then I will give you a chance. I'm saying, let's say, the price of rice is 100 per kg. Okay? Hundred dollars per kg. I'm not done yet. I mean, I'm I'm not done yet. You have not heard me what I'm trying to ask you actually. So you are trying to give me an answer where the question itself is not known. Yeah. Okay. So the variable is how much a pound is how much rice. Right. So okay. Let me put it this way. So then then probably it will make it simple. Okay. Now let's say somebody says find out the price of a pineapple. Rice bag. Find out the price price of a rice bag. Okay, rice bag. Wait, 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 wait. Let me complete the question first. Find out the price of the rice bag, which is of twenty pound, which is a twenty pound rice bag. Okay. Okay. Yes. I don't know. Nobody has told me yet. What is the price of per rice per pound? I will assume it to be x. x per pound. This is a 20 pound bag. What is the price of this one? 20 into x. This many dollars. That is what I was trying to say. <laughs> you guys are not letting me complete my sentence. That's why I was talking to everybody. Okay? So, what I'm saying is, this x is nothing but the unit price. Here. Okay? So, let's say someone says, Fill five gallons of gas in the car. Okay? And you have to find out how much money you need. Somebody asked you to put five gallons of gas. Okay? And gives you ten dollars. Ten dollars? No, no, no. Gives you ten dollars. Say, okay, take this ten dollars. Fill five gallons of gas. Oh, that's not. How would you do that? You don't know whether ten dollars is enough or not. What gas is doing? So first thing you have to find out whether this is enough or not. How will you find that out? You say, okay, what is the price of one gallon? Let's assume this is X. Okay. Yeah. So if price of one gallon is X. Price of 5 gallon will be what? X into 5? No, you don't have to say, you don't have to agree to me. Tell me whether this is yes or no. Yes. Price of 1, I'm, okay, I'm assuming. That's now, it. now let me, okay, let me rephrase my question, okay? I'm giving $10 to each one of you. Okay? Saying, I'm giving $10 to everybody. Saying, Get me five gallons of gas. Okay. Of gas, okay? And the price of gas in 7 Eleven is 2.55 per gallon. That's like a I'm not interested in regular premium, all that. I'm just saying price of gas is $2.55 per gallon here. Okay? In let's say circle K, it is 2.65 per gallon. And in Costco, it is $2.45 per gallon. Okay? Okay, so this is the question. When somebody gives you ten dollars and says get me five gallons of gas, which place you will go to to get the gas? Neither. Why? Circle K. No, neither. No, he said neither. I want to know why. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm asking you how did you because all of them have more than because all of them are overpriced. No ten. Uh-huh. 
The cost bill would be the answer because two dollars and forty. Yeah, but two dollars and forty five cents. Into plus, five. Yeah. Then. So what will you do first here? If this is a situation, right? What will you do? First thing you will say, okay, fine. I know per gallon is this much in Seven Eleven. So if I go to Seven Eleven, if I go to Seven Eleven, how much money I have to pay for buying five gallons? Two point five five into five. If I go to Circle K, how much money I have to pay for five gallons? Two point six five into five. If I go to Costco, how much I have to pay? Two point four five into five. Now, when you calculate this, I. I mean, I have not taught you guys how to multiply decimals, but if you know or you don't know, in any case, I'm just doing it right away. So, twelve point seven five. Okay, this will be twelve point nine zero. Okay. Ah uh, no, sorry. Seven five. This will be. This is five. Thirty-two. Okay. This is okay. Now, you, what did you find from this calculation? Nothing. You found that ten dollars is not sufficient to buy five gallons. No, so no, no. I I did not say that. Adi, what you said was wrong. I asked you why, and I I'm just that. showing everybody. How will I do that, or how will Adi find that out? I was correct. I said I said no. Right. No. So so that's what I'm saying. I'm not concerned about the answer. I'm teaching everybody in the same way to understand that if I know the answer, there has to be reasoning. There has to be calculation. Okay, so that is what I was kind of trying to repeat myself again and again. So any question that you come across, any math or any mathematical problem that you have to work on, what you have to do? It's a four-step process. Who is going to tell that? Adrik, do you remember? Any math, any sum that you have to do. There are four things that you have to do always. Oh yeah. Come over, come over, come over. I have given you one chance. I am giving him one more. Yeah, sure. So uh, you know where it is, right? Huh? He, he know. He knows. He, he can go by himself. Yeah, yeah. So Adrik, go ahead. You have to trust the problem. Oh, oh wait. Wait, you, you do you have to read the problem, uh -huh. and then you have to understand it, uh -huh. and then you have to trust it, and then kick-cap Nike kicks. Okay, so, uh, I'm just kind of said so, I'm just repeating it, okay? First thing is, you have to trust yourself, that yes, in this I can't open the door. You can't open the door? Okay. Let me walk here. Okay, so, so the first thing, any sum, any question, any mathematical problem, okay? Obviously, nobody will give you mathematical problem for college, right? Most of the times you will get it for your age group. Yeah. Okay. What is the first step? First step, I think we have missed one thing, okay? First thing is, he Adil said that you have to trust the problem. Don't trust the problem. Trust yourself. Always think that yes, I can solve it. That's the first step, okay? Be confident. Be confident. Okay? That's the first thing. You should trust that yes, I can solve it. What is the second step? Allocate. Huh? Allocate. Allocate? Yeah. Uh, how do you define it? What do you mean by I don't that? Know, uh, in my school, uh, it's like trash, allocate, copy, and then multiple. Okay. 
that 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 could be a different uh, concept. Uh, here, <coughs> it is something that is mine. I have, I have defined for you guys. Right? Okay. First thing is trust. That always, whenever you are given a question, don't give up. Don't be afraid that I cannot do it. It's difficult. Okay. First thing is, yes, I can do it. Let me try doing it. Okay. That's the confidence part. Like uh, coffee answer. Okay. Again, I'm repeating the name so that I remember everybody's name, okay? It doesn't look nice on my part if I say, oh, what is the name? No. All my students, I should be knowing them, okay? So, first thing is trust. Trusting yourself. Like, I've seen Advik coming and giving that concept for the son that I asked him to solve. And he does it. Many of you do, do it, okay? So does Maya, so does Arab. So, when you have the confidence, that's the first thing. Second thing is, Read. Read and read. Those three reads. No. Read and read. I'm, I'm just repeating myself. What I'm saying is, you have a question. Read that question once to see if you are able to understand it. If not, read one more time. See if you are if you were able to understand what the question is. If not it, one more time. Keep reading it till you are confident that yes, I've understood what the problem is. We'll do one sum, okay? Follow the same approach. Third, you want to go to the restroom? Kavya, do you also want to go? No, uh, I, I don't know what time it is. I'm sorry? What time is it? It's 4.50. We still have 15 minutes. What happened? You're tired? Really? Huh? Trust me. I don't know what I'm tired. You know, uh, the third one is analyzing. And okay, so... Right, so third third step is, okay, so read the question again and again. When you read it too many times, you will understand what the question is. Then comes analyze. So this, this is a stage when you, you make your mind how to solve this problem. Okay. Once you have read the question multiple times, you understood what, what that is. You make your plan, okay, this is how I'm going to solve it. This is my first step, second step, third step, done. And then, Nike. Just do it. Just do it. Okay? So, we'll just do one sum following that. And then, will we end up the class? We'll do one sum. Huh? Let me, let me first write the question. We'll follow the same approach like what I said. So, no rushing. Because concept, okay, anybody feel, is feeling thirsty in water? Yes. Okay. Huh? You need water? I can get the water. You get the water bottles, okay? While I'm, I'm writing the question. Okay. Can I have a Huh? What happened? No, he just needs water actually, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, now, pin drop silence for the next 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes will be done. Okay. So we have the bottles, okay? Get two bottles. Okay. Now, I'm writing the questions, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll ask some, one of you to solve it, but I'll make sure that everybody follows that same approach. Okay? Because I'm, I'm not here to make one of you become a champion, I'm here to make everybody champion. Okay? Okay. 
This is the question. Everybody just read it. And let me read it once for everybody and then you guys can... Okay? Let me read it once. First thing is, I trust that everybody can solve this. That's the first part of it. Okay? Now, second, then, then comes the read. I have some chocolates. Or I will say, I have some chocolates. Okay? I gave half of them to Isha. Okay? Whatever I had, I gave half of that to Isha. Okay? Isha is the new student in the class. I, I got very happy to see him. I gave half of my chocolates to him. Okay? Now, Ishan also bought he also bought five more chocolates because he told his dad I attended a new class and I am learning something so he, his dad got happy and said okay fine I am giving you five chocolates she got five more chocolates that's what it is Ishan also bought five more chocolates okay now he has total 25 chocolates so I gave half of mine to him, he bought 5 more, he has now 25. Question is, how many chocolates I had initially, I as in me. Now, now, okay. So, solving, I will choose who will solve, that is okay. A big, big, big. See, if one of you can come and solve it, I can solve this in 10 seconds. I am not here to show that oh, I know maths. I want everybody to learn maths. Okay, that's why. The first thing was trust. I, I should trust that everybody can solve it. And I trust that. Second point is read. Read this question one more time and be sure that you understood this question. Everybody has read this? Yes. yes. Once, twice, three times. Okay, okay. So everybody has read it now. I'll, I'll trust you guys. Now, the analyze part comes. How, how would you approach this problem? I'm not interested in knowing the answer right away. How would you approach the problem? How? How would you do it? So, you can basically sort it out by writing on like, the equation down. Like, you can process that out like, by writing the equation down. Okay. Like, it says, I gave out, so basically, you can divide by two. Okay. Okay. And then he brought two. He brought two more. So he brought five more. Mm -hmm. And then now he has twenty-five. So you're basically then dividing. So you're basically what finding how much he has to start. Okay. Let's let's hear Kavya now. Uh, no, I don't see. I would not be very happy when you tell me the answer. I'll be more happy when you tell me how you'll do it. No, no, I'm happy with everybody. I'm saying I'm, I'm wanting to know that approach. How will you do it? I come to you, Ishan, okay? So you need half of it. So then you need to go find more than you have to take half. So that you don't have to worry. Math doesn't like the word probably. Ah, so I will not make you, anybody guess. I'll tell you how. So, so that, that's okay. I mean, see again. Nobody is right or wrong. Okay, I'm just okay. Isha, Isha was waiting for long. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so twenty. So uh, five plus five is twenty-five. Mm -hmm. So if you do twenty-five minus ten, that's fifteen. So I think it's called. Oh, wait, I'm not. I'll just say that. It's okay. It's okay. I'm. I'm going to. It's my job to teach you guys the approach. So. Uh, I'm making everybody think, okay? Everybody has thought. Okay, let's hear Adrik also. So, initially you had X, you don't know how many chocolates you had, so you had X. Mm -hmm. And you gave half of that, so you gave half of X to his shop. Mm -hmm. And he brought five chocolates, now he has 25 chocolates. Mm -hmm. So if we subtract the five chocolates he had, minusing the twenty-five chocolates in total, you would get twenty chocolates. But he, he but he went times the uh, times it again because he gave half of it. No, so he gave no. half. half no, wait, 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 no, no, no. Let him complete. Okay, I see. When everybody gets a chance, you speak. When others are talking, let them speak. Yeah, complete. So then you have a so so when he had a total of twenty-five, mm -hmm. but so. 
You're gonna, so he's going to move the 25 total he got minus the 5 that he brought, which is 20. Mm -hmm. So that's how, that's how much the half that you gave him. Mm -hmm. Times 2, since you gave him half, equals 40. So he eventually had 40 chocolates at this time. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like the approach, you, you kind of nailed it. I will make it even more simpler, but, but how I will do it. But, but yeah, your approach was very correct. You are saying something, go ahead. Yeah, I have the same strategy as in the Okay, you repeat it. Copy paste doesn't work, you have to say it. So <laughs> since you had uh, like, uh, some chocolates, you'll just put the amount of chocolates that you had X. Mm -hmm. And since you gave half of it to Sean, mm -hmm. you, can them to, to, you can divide X into half into a half. Mm -hmm. I don't know the answer for that, so you can just call it Y. So then he also bought five more chocolates, and he got a total of 25 after buying those five chocolates. Mm -hmm. So if you take five away from 25, you'll get 20. Mm -hmm. And since 20 is half of what you, get, what you originally had, you can mm -hmm. add 20 plus 20, and you'll get 40. Okay, okay. So now, so see, I am, I don't need this question on the board now because you guys read it so many times that everybody remembers the question, right? I asked Toshika to come here. Were you able to follow what Adri and Myra were saying? Kind of? Yeah. Do you think you can follow what they said to solve this sum? Yes or no? Kind of. Kind of? Okay. Yes, so, yes, so. Okay. So, no, no, it, it's okay. It, it happens, okay? Math is a very nice subject, but it, it's equally scary. Okay? Math, People get scared. Math means the um, equal amount of space in math. Um, I'm trying to follow you. Equal amount of space. Okay, we'll, we'll take it offline. Okay. So again, everybody here, you guys are too small to start relying on Google or even calculator. Don't go that far because, no, no, Google is very nice. Google is the best. No question about it. What I'm saying is we are building our foundation, the yeah. base. Yeah, so it's like, so it's like don't use Yeah, so don't, don't, don't learn from learned people. Okay, who have already learned other things. Let's say if you guys start talking about Gen AI, AI, artificial intelligence, you know, uh, uh, chatbots, chat GPT, all that. Where's the basic? Bar? Chatbot. Humans are much, um, human are much more than AI. Bar. So um, what I'm saying is, focus on what is important. There are a lot of things that you will learn when you guys grow up. Don't rush for it. Right? So, okay. Now, let me do the same sum, like the way Adrik, Myra, Arab, everybody explained, right? What I said was something that is not known. The question was, that I have some chocolates, I gave half of it to Ishan. I was very happy after saying this. This is Ishan. Ishan is the gentleman sitting next to you. So, I gave half of it to Ishan, and then Ishan bought five more chocolates, then he has 25 now. How much I had? So, question is how much I had? I don't know how much I had. Whatever I had, I don't know. That is X. That is X. Whatever I had, I gave half of that to Ishan. So I divided X by 2 and gave it to Ishan. Now Ishan bought some more. Five more. After that, we, we, after that, he has 25. This is the equation it becomes. Now, how will you solve it? Do it the reverse order. Yes. What you will do is, when it is equal to sign, you can deduct something equally both the sides. So you deduct 5 from here, you deduct 5 from this side. Yeah? These two come. So this becomes x by 2 equals to 25 minus 5, that is 20. So if you divide x by 2, that is 20. x will be, so you multiply 2 here and you multiply 2 here. So x equals 40. Yay! 
So answer was right. Arav said the same answer. You guys said the same answer. But I wanted to have the patience to wait and see how I am doing it, how you guys are doing it, how you are approaching it. So one thing that you all will take away from this class is any question. The logic, the approach, how you think in your mind, how you go about solving it, is what determines how accurate or how correct it will be. Okay, and that brings us to the end of the class.